Y'all, it's your boy C Bass, and we here with my first ever Q and A. Hey, yeah, fuck with me and get some money and get some money. What's up? Um, for some of y'all that don't know what I'm gonna be doing today, let me explain to y'all. So today I will be doing a Q and A. For some of y'all, I don't know what that is. It is a question and answer video, and I asked y'all on my Instagram to ask me some questions. So. I have my phone, and don't judge me, and don't think I'm conceited, because this is my mama's phone, and someone's recording on my phone, so skirt. Okay, so to get this Q&A started, the first question is, most embarrassing thing to ever happen to you? Oh, okay, okay, okay. Oh, but this is too embarrassing. Nah, fuck it, I'm gonna say it, because I'm a what? Thug. Okay, so... I remember, I remember last time I was in um, Spanish class and I was getting really nervous because it was my first Spanish class presentation. And it was with a partner. And then I was up there and I farted and I blamed on the person next All to me. All right, so for question number two, we have, if you could travel anywhere in the world, where would you go and why? I think if I really had the opportunity to travel anywhere, it would probably be Barcelona because... I really, I was looking at pictures the other day, and then I was like, yo, I really like this place. Like, this place is beautiful, and I feel like this will get some real good pictures from my Instagram. Low key. Okay, question number three. What's your favorite flavor of ice cream? <coughs> Skirt! Is ice cream even in my head? No, because I don't like ice cream. And that's one thing about me. I don't like any type of ice cream. I prefer frozen yogurt 100%. But something about ice cream, it just makes me mad. So to answer your question, that's nothing, because I don't like ice cream. Okay, question number four. What's your goals for 2018? Who's your main best friend? What do you want to be in the future? Girl, you got a lot of questions. I said one and you asked three, but I'm going to answer all what? Three. What's your goals for 2018? My goals for 2018, um, most importantly, first, to graduate high school and then start off college, get my life correct, get a job for myself, and then just continue YouTube because I feel like YouTube is, like, really fun. Like, I really enjoy doing it. Okay, for your second question, who's your main best friend? I got a lot of best friends. That's the thing about me. Like, if I get close to you, I'm automatically calling you my best friend. If I could trust you stuff, I'm going to call you my best friend. But, like, the most important ones is probably, like, my best friend Cynthia, um, my best friend Jocelyn, best friend Amanda, who my favorite tea party guest. Holla at you, girl. I know you watching. And who else? I got a lot. If you, if you think you're my best friend, then we best friends. Just know that. Because I forgot about a lot of people. Oh, and Maria. Yeah, Maria too. What do you want to be in the future? I want to be a crime scene investigator. For some of y'all, I don't know what that is. It's basically like those people that go in crime scenes and they like find DNAs or like who plan, I mean, um, who kidnapped the person or like how tall is the person if they have footage on cameras. They like do all kinds of, exa of examinations to like find out what the issue was that made the, cre the crime scene go like crazy. Okay, um, I inspired you to create a YouTube channel. I feel like I've been inspired by a lot of people. Like, at first, when I was younger, it was like 2014, I was inspired by Miranda Sings. I really liked Miranda Sings. Like, I would watch her channel every day. Not like her channel, like, as a person. Like, I liked her, like, oh, because she's a girl and I like what she films. Nah, I just like how open she was on cameras and, like, how natural she was. But if we're talking about now, present, it definitely has to be the Ace family. Like, I think... I, don't, it's, I wouldn't say the whole family. It's most importantly probably just, like, Austin because he's, he's the only guy there. And, like, he's basically, like, a me. Like, I feel like I really look up to him because he's, like, um, he's, like, not shy to be open on cameras. And he's, like, he doesn't care what anybody thinks. And I feel like that's me also. But Catherine and L, I love y'all, too. Y'all know what's up. Okay. Um, Romero, Romero Santos or Prince Royce? I met Romeo Santos, and Romeo Santos was real nice to me, so I'm going Romeo Santos, so what's up? Um, do you know the show Jane the Virgin? Girl, is that even a question? Who doesn't know Jane the Virgin? That's a show that everybody grew up with. Like, that's the show that'll make you cry tears, and that's the show that you'll want to punch somebody in the face while watching. Like, it's just one of them shows. Um, if you could only shop in one shop for the rest of your life, what shop would it be? Also, love your account. Thank you so much for saying that you love my account. And if I could shop at one place for the rest of my life, it will probably be Vans. Because Vans has all kinds of clothes, and then they got shoes, and then they got jeans. So I feel like I will be set with Vans for the rest of my life. Like, I'm good. All right, this is, um, I forgot what question number this is, but the next question. 
What was one of the best days of your life? What was one of the worst days of your life? And what was one of the funniest days? Best days of my life was probably July 20th, 2016, because I met the Ace Family and I met Romeo Santos. So like, yeah, I really like them people. They like, yeah. Um, what was one of the worst days of your life? Oh, one of the worst days of my life? Probably starting high school, honestly. Just the thoughts of high school just pissed me off. Like, I just hate everything about it. So that was probably the worst day because it was just, it was just annoying. Like, everybody looked at you and they would like, just roll your eyes. Like, I'm a new person here. So don't roll your eyes before you get beat up. Okay, and what was one of the funniest days? I feel like every day is a funny day because you're living Seabass life. If you live with me, I feel like every day is a funny day because I'm always laughing. Like, I'm always such a person that's laughing or, like, always smiling. Like, I'm always myself. Um, favorite fast food place. Oh, favorite fast food place has to be... I would say McDonald's because I really mess with their chicken nuggets and fries. But then again, pause. Because just the other day, I tried Chick-fil-A and, ooh, them fries and them chicken sandwiches bomb as hell if y'all don't know what chick-fil-a is google it and get your ass to walk in and go to chick-fil-a because it's good okay um who is your favorite human being i don't really have a favorite human being it's more like i just like a lot of people like my favorite human being ever is probably my mama because me and mama is like real close and um yeah like me and mama really bond like i be telling her everything that happened with issues everything that happened with friendships and yeah like she one of my favorite people because she always standing up for me when my dad got something to say it'd be two against one so it should be two against me but see that and mama go against dad so dad what's up um advice on fake friends oh y'all i've been through so many of these little fake friends where they just be talking and talking and talking and then they be coming up to you like hey Girl, skirt. One advice on fake friends, you got to really know who your real friends are. If you need... Okay, I feel like y'all should do a test. If you feel in some type of way and you call up friends or text friends like, hey, or, and they don't reply to you, that's automatically a fake friend. Because if you say, hey, I need your help or, hey, I'm feeling some type of way, they need to respond in an instant, 2.5 seconds, and they should be at your house in the next hour. So... Basically, fake friends is people that like talk mess about you and like people that still consider you as a friend and the, and you know that they're talking smack about you but they still gonna go and smile on your face and like hug you i've been through a lot of those um favorite animal oh favorite animal princess most definitely i'll probably answer the picture of her down here because she not she outside and i'm not gonna go get her but for some of y'all i don't know who princess is that's my dog and i have three dogs so yeah um who is your favorite person to spill tea to spill tea with um my favorite person to spill tea with is probably, wait, is we talking about real life or like text? Because if it's text, I like spilling tea to my shape throwers group chat, and then I like spilling tea with Amanda. But if we talking about in person, I basically just feel like all my tea to Cynthia. Like, Cynthia, girl, I rock with you. Um, What's your biggest fear? Oh, my biggest fear has to be rats. As soon as I see them little dirty things walking anywhere, I automatically like go insane. So like... If you ever try to prank me with the rat and stuff, just know that's the last day that you're seeing light because I'll mess with rats and the person that's probably going to prank me with the rat probably looks like a rat. So I don't freaking like rats. Um, And then what else? Okay. And then the last question is my birthday and my favorite color. My birthday is September 22nd, 2000. I am a Virgo. Um, I am turning 18 in September 22nd. And then... My favorite color has to be black. All right. Yeah, I think. All right, y'all. This is the end of this video. If you liked it, don't forget to what? Like and subscribe. And if you want to see another Q&A, Q&A part two, um, comment down below and we're going to film one. Probably with a special guest. So, yeah. Thank you so much for watching. And one, two, three. Do hey. it. Hey. Hey. <laughs> Real talk, true shit. Call the fucking bad bitches. I don't want no mediocre.